Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use CAMXC to manage cargo packing list and track each cargo through the customizable workflows. So starting with step 1, how do you create cargos in CAMXC? This is the cargo page. Here you can create and manage your own cargo shipments. You can have multiple types of cargo and each can have their own customizable workflows. In the project setup window, you have the option to create your own customizable workflow which can then be used later for tracking your cargos. Now let's see how you can create a cargo. To create a new cargo, click on add new button at the top and that will prompt a create cargo window. Here you can define the cargo type where the cargo type stores the workflow. Next, you can define a cargo ID or a cargo number any additional notes, for example, truck ID in which the cargo would be added, and finally, the parts or assemblies that needs to be included in that cargo. The required part or assembly can be found either by searching in the search bar or can be added directly by scanning the QR code. To add specific items to the cargo, you can use a single arrow, and to add all the filtered items, you can use the double arrow. You can also add assemblies by clicking on the scan option and then scanning the QR code. Once done, click on create, and that's how you can create a cargo shipment in CMEXE. Now, let's say you forgot to add an assembly in this newly created cargo. CMEXE provides an option to add additional items to the cargo by going to the respective cargo, clicking on the cargo ID, and then selecting the add association option. You can add the new assembly in this window, and you can see the newly added assembly now appears under this cargo. You can also use the assembly or parts page to create a cargo. So let's go to the assemblies page first. Here you can select the assemblies that you want to track in a single cargo and after selecting, click on create cargo option. On create new cargo page, you can follow the same steps as described before to create a cargo full of assemblies. You can see the newly created cargo can now be accessed on the cargo page. Now let's look at how you can add parts to a cargo shipment. Just like assembly, you can perform the same steps to add parts to your cargo. Again, you can now see the newly created cargo is listed on this cargo page. Lastly, there are also some quick action buttons that you can use to add cargo. One such plus button is located on the left pane and another is located at the top. Now that you have created your cargo, let's look at how you can track your cargo using QR codes. You can export the newly created shipping list by clicking on the export option and this will create an Excel sheet that you can share with your team. You can use the print QR code option to print all of the QR codes which you can then use to stick on the crates. Once the QR codes are placed on the respective cargo, user can scan the QR code and come to the status change window to update the status. To update the status, simply click on the green button and that will bring you to the update window. Here you can add notes, you can attach documents which are relevant to the shipment, example permits, and once you are done, you can go ahead and click on the update button. As you can see, the status of the cargo has been updated. You can also go to the history tab and view the history of all the status changes that have been done in the past. As you can see on the cargo page, you can see the status of the assembly cargo is now updated to packaged. And likewise, you can update the status for the parts and other cargos as well. Now let's look at how you can view the statuses of your cargo. You can go to the dashboard and select the cargo option from the drop down menu. And here you can view the statuses both in the form of a pie chart or in the form of a tabular data. You can click on the individual cargo ID from the table and then go to the status change window. You can also select the viewer option and view the status of your cargo visually on the 3D model. Click on report, go to cargo, and now you can view the status of your cargo assemblies in the form of color coded information overlaid on your 3D model. So that's how you can create cargo, track the statuses, visualize the status changes, and view the progress report for cargos inside CMC. Thank you very much for watching. And if you would like to learn more, please visit our website www.cmexe.io.